I think that work, um, what we're giving is we're giving the spirit, aren't we? We're giving the spirit of Renaissance and the spirit of, of what she actually wanted, although. Mm. So I think we're actually fitting the brief surprisingly well, considering we're not fitting the brief. And you can still make it slightly ghost-like. And when she said ghost, I don't even think she meant scary or sinister. No, but, but we could still fun. have bits of that. They're more fun. Know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's what I think it would be if they're like, you know, if you're doing the light and, you know, if you whisper, you know, to people's ear and, you know, you're guiding them when they are blind. So I think it has an element already. You don't have to necessarily address the fact that, you know, this is spooky because I think then it, then it might come a bit tacky. Mm. Um, so I think yeah. getting lost is important because you can't... <laughs> no, but like we did even... Yeah, yeah, um, kind of control. Yes, lost, um, but get, yeah, getting, getting control lost or being made to feel lost. Yeah. yeah because that and brings found again. And found again. <laughs> yes. yes. That's What's such a nice like idea. <laughs> we make people feel lost. We send them off as wandering souls and then they find themselves or they find each other again and it culminates in this ball. <laughs> they find each other in here again. <laughs> yeah. yeah they <laughs> the script is beautiful. I like it. Because it's a real, a real clear tour around as these lost wandering souls and if you see things, it's all in your mind, but you often see a projection. It's kind of like, oh, that's, that's my mind becoming slightly enlightened. And then, yeah. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> we need like some sort of culmination of that tour, which then brings them into here to have the big party and perform the, like, the ceremonial there. enlightenment dance. Yes. <laughs> 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 the, it's not Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of, that would be quite a fun structure. Yeah. That's quite simple. Mm -hmm. yeah. I tell you what, we can yeah. do this and we can do it with Renaissance. Geoffrey Chaucer is a Renaissance person and he wrote about the trips into hell and back, then he wrote about the Pilgrim's Progress. So we've got our, we've got our, our um, spiritual excuse. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> 